Good morning, sweetheart. Morning. How are you feeling? Nervous. Yeah? Yeah. Are you ready? No. <laughs> Radiator. You'll be fine. I promise. I know. Let's go. Yeah. All my worries of yesterday, I can seem to get away. We were golden turning blue. I thought you could see. Welcome to a very special day for Isabel! <laughs> we are just on our, what is that noise? We're just on our way to drop Isabel off at high school. We've had a bit of a nice morning and then as soon as we left the house, stressful because there's popped up roadworks everywhere and not traffic is mental at this time of morning i don't know why we probably should have thought about that to be honest it's the same the route pretty much the same route that we take every morning but we usually set off around 9 uh, 8 20 uh, 8 40 8 40 and it's now we set off at 8 10 and the traffic's much 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 worse however we found another route we did leave enough time so i'm pretty sure she won't be late imagine being late on your first day of high school is he you'd actually cry there's roadways <laughs> everywhere around here man All it's of a mental it's, going there is, it's crazy roadworks fingers crossed we should still be okay though how are you feeling Wizzle? nervous very nervous and excited Mo mainly nervous i'm nervous you'll be fine can you see that guys that's how Chris drives his car. <laughs> yes, you saw that right. Zero miles on the clock. It was on zero miles when we set off to take Isabel to school. Now, it you may have heard- It wasn't last night. Give over. It wasn't last night. Give over. You may have heard that we were saying how stressful it was. I didn't want to stress Isabel out so much because it's the first day of school. She's already nervous. I don't want the, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to walk into my first day of high school late. Worry. Obviously, that wasn't going to happen, but it was tense. It was tense. We were not expecting that traffic. And although if it had only been the traffic, she wouldn't have been late, we also had the added on pressure that any minute the car's going to stop and we're going to run out of petrol because Chris drives the tank empty, which I know is really bad for the car, but he will not listen. I bet he only puts £10 in. Anyway, Isabel wasn't late for school. The other two weren't late for school. We've made it to a petrol station and we're all good. I can't believe how weird it feels to have complete silence. I can't believe the girls have all gone back to school. And I know a million people are going to sit there cringing at what I'm about to say. And literally thinking, no, don't even start with that right now. When the girls go back to school and the leaves start falling off the trees like they are, they're turning colour. It's just, it's Christmas, guys. <laughs> okay, that was a bit fat, it's not Christmas. But I do start thinking about festive things, like October, there's Halloween, which I absolutely love. And you just can't think about Halloween without thinking about Christmas. How much petrol has he put in, let's see. Oh, 20, 20. Anyway, we are just about to go to the sorting office because we got a parcel whilst we were away. And then we're going to nip up to the range. It's like a big home, not really a home store. It's like a big, if it's not in the range, you don't need it. What was that advert on TV? If you can't find it in the range, you don't need it or something like that. Something like that. Something like that. Basically it's a store that sells everything. So we're going to pop up there and then we've got quite a lot of jobs to do. We need to get merchandise posted out that we, we gave away whilst we were away. Things like that. But yeah. Feels weird. How do you feel without the girls? Yeah! Oh my goodness, do not start with that noise. I totally missed the point when I mentioned Christmas before. The whole reason that I even mentioned that was because we're coming to the range. And whenever we come to the range, it's usually Christmas time, isn't it? Yeah. We always come here at Christmas because they have the most beautiful like Christmas decorations and it's just so big. It's like a garden centre. It's so big and full of like... Yeah, that's what it is like. It's like a garden centre, isn't it? It's full of like unique festivities and I love it. Is this, Hopefully. this is kind of like a, uh, a Halloween sort of version. A Halloween version of it right now. Sort cool. of? Well, How is. is this sort of? <laughs> that's ace. That makes me feel really that's happy. That's not sort of Halloween. I love Halloween, man. Check out that bad boy. Hello. Come on, let's go inside. I love this. 
how, right, I'll read that right now and tell me how you can read it without singing it. You can't just read it, you've got to sing it. A dream is a wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep. No matter who. No, I'm gonna say stop right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dude, I'm leaving you in the shop right now. <laughs> it's so cute though, and it's Disney, it's what we like. I love that. It's only £5.49. We finished up in the range, or range, is it the range or just range? The range. The range. We finished up there and we're just heading back home to Prinny. We're going home because we've got quite a lot of jobs to do today. We've got a few emails and things to apply to. We have a lovely camera to send back to one of our subscribers. I don't know if you remember or not, when we were away in Mallorca. So we need to go and post up back plus all the merchandise that you guys won whilst we were away. That all needs packaging up. We just went to um, a little retail park and it was just to pick up some boxes, storage boxes, no, not storage boxes, postal boxes and envelopes. So we've got all that ready. I'm going to go home and organize it all. I just thought I would show you what we bought from the range. We only spent eight pounds and that included one pound 50 on crisps <laughs> for Chris. We got these, which I think are so cute. So it's like, a metal sign and it says think happy be happy so really nice inspirational if you think happy you'll be happy I love it we're having kind of a feature wall with loads of like plaques on the wall not we've not really got a theme going on yet but we have bought a few bits so that's going to go on there because I love it okay this one says you don't have to see the whole staircase just just to take the first step there you go, nice bit of inspirationality for you guys there. You don't have to see the whole staircase, just take the first step. That's so true. Don't think of the goal, just go for it. Go for it, take the first step. Anyway, they're going to be going on our little plaque wall when we get our new house, which I can't believe it's in about a month or less than a month. That's crazy, isn't it? You're falling asleep. Hey, no, no. <laughs> he's I'm not good. actually falling asleep I'm obviously good. he's driving a car but he's just so enthusiastic I'm right now he's like I've had like three hours sleep man I'm tired manage your time better mm -hmm. don't go out skating no fool. on a night no fool <laughs> never fool do go out skating oh my gosh I can't cope anyway guys we're going back home to Prinny and um, we're going to get on with some jobs before picking up the girls from school so we're just back home, we've been cracking on with the few jobs that I was telling you guys we had to do. I just got up to play with Pretty, maybe run around the garden with her a little bit to tire her out because she clearly has energy. And I noticed that her paw, one of her paws, she won't actually put down on the floor. Now, I don't know if you guys know, I think we vlogged about it maybe we did. last week, was it? Did yeah, you? we did, yeah. We took her to the vets because for about two months now she's been irritated by one of her paws. She keeps licking it and biting at it. And the, we took her to the vets a few months ago. They said it was normal and that there's nothing looked nothing looked wrong with it. We took her back last week, I think it was, because it, it really just looked so sore. Oh, baby, wait. Oh, look at her. She's looking really sorry for herself. Look at her. Oh, no, darling. Look, she won't put it down. No, look. she won't put her paw down. This might sting in this. We've oh got, no. Has to be bath every day in salt water. I don't know if it's going to sting oh, or not. No. But... Pretty. Oh yeah, it might sting a little bit. Oh, oh good girl. Oh. Good girl. Okay. You are so good girl, Prinny. Anyway, we took her back to the vets just before we last went away. Was it just before Bristol? And the vet said, yeah, that's got quite a bad infection. It gave us some antibiotics and things. I did vlog about it on the day. And um, we got loads of medicine and stuff for her, which she's been having for a week now, but. Honestly, it just looks like it's getting worse. It looks so bad. I think we might have to take, is today the last day of her antibiotics? No, no, she's got two days left. It looks so painful and it's obviously causing her distress. Prinny, you poor baby. One of her eyes is really bad and the other one's I don't know so why, bad. yeah, that's so, I wonder, like, if anyone's got any magic tips for dogs, we've tried a lot. No, it, it goes off. But it. I know this breed, like, they go through phases where Prinny's yeah. eyes will be totally clear for ages. And then all of a sudden they'll just go... And like, then they'll just get a bit wet, like, like they are now, and it just looks a bit grim, but... Bless her. Good girl. What's up guys, how's it going? It's a little bit later on. I've just got my little munchkins back from school. Playing in our swing 
in and look what I've just found on the floor. What have you found, babe? A juicy pineapple. Oh my goodness, you did. Someone dropped a juicy pineapple on the floor. So the girls are just showing me their den right now that they've made. We have a swing with Prinny. In winter, um, um, in winter and summer, me and Isabel used to play up and down here on the swing and we always used to go like this on the swing. Oh, Prinny! Oh, careful, watch Prinny. Prinny's feeling much better now. She's had some medicine and she's perked right up. We're going to keep an eye on her paw though, make sure it's all right and keep cleaning it. But she's walking on it again and she's loving life again as you can see right now. She's trying to stalk a stick out. What did you see, Prinny? I threw a stick, it hit the tree, it went off the tree and it went down into the grass. What did you see, Prinny? It's the nettles, Prinny. Yeah, you come here, folk. Yeah, Don't go in nettles. <laughs> Speaking of Isabel, We've got like half an hour left before she finishes school. She finishes super late today at 5 p.m. She's been there from 8.30 till 5 p.m. today because she has school till four and then she's got netball practice tonight for the first time on her first day back. Her first day at high school ever. She's had netball practice for the first time. I'm so proud of her that she's gone to do that today. It's brilliant. <sighs> You've not seen too much of me today purely because I've not been feeling very good today at all. I'm feeling really run down today and horrible, but I think that's probably something to do with the lack of sleep last night. Didn't have very much sleep last night between editing and stuff, but it's all good. Prinny, come here, darling. Needless to say, I am definitely looking forward to a good night's sleep tonight. Boom! Guess who's back? Boom, boom, back again. Boom, boom, Izzy's back. Boom, boom, sassy friends. <laughs> Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Isabel, who's just done after school netball on her first day back. That's why she's dressed all sassy ish. This Tell is not me. actually a skirt, don't worry, guys. It's a skirt. It's a skirt. Tell me how your first day went. It was amazing. Um, my first class, well, basically, we didn't go straight into classes. We had like a morning assembly. Yeah. Um, uh, introducing us all and that was really nice and then my first class um, was drama and, oh and what God. did you do it was like we were, so we made like a tower um, and of a ride yeah. and we were all like oh Isabel you're going to be so good at drama I can just tell you were really good <laughs> going to proper funny um, and then we got to present it to our form because we basically stayed with the form all day we didn't really go into different groups yeah classes. to get used to your friends and stuff yeah so I was um, hanging out with my friends Freya and Fran, for the name, sorry. <laughs> Fran, it's all new, it's not new, all the names, so yeah. everyone's a bit uncertain. So, yeah, Freya and Fran, are, um, and I hang, hung out with them, and then our first, obviously, our first one was drama, and then our second class, we had to quickly leg it back to the lockers, grab a pen, <laughs> run back and get geography. I've actually got my books, uh, my four there, I've got yeah. four books, um, two for like, two for each, two of the lessons. So I got two books for geography, and yeah. then I got two books for my next lesson, which was history, um, and that was really fun. Wow, awesome! So how do you like high school? She's it's come out good. so buzzing, it's amazing, you're um, so happy. Yeah, and I love netball. So Isabel started the after school girls netball team and you're also going to be in the, is it competitive swim. swimming on Friday? Yeah, the swim and I'd like to maybe do the um, band pop, band of oh, pop. Oh cool, yeah. There's a one called band of rock and I didn't really know if, um, I, I wasn't really going to bring it up because I didn't know if anyone else would like to do it. I didn't want to be in a group with no, no I didn't really own. know. Yeah, on my own. And, this, and then my friend um, Freya, she brought it up and was like, you want I to do it? And she was like, and she's like, oh my gosh, yeah. I was like, oh, I want to do it as well. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you've come out so happy and you like it. As a parent, I think that's one thing that you always think about. Is your child going to come out of the first day at school crying, saying, I never want to go back? Or is Isabel, are you excited for tomorrow? Yes. You've actually got a team building day tomorrow, so that will be well, so fun. What else we do? Have we got, have we got class, classes? No, it's just team building day all day. You can go in your pee kit. Mm. Yay! I'm so glad you had a good day, babe. She's still holding me up. <laughs> oh, I'm nearly on my tiptoes. <laughs> she might be a big girl, but she's still oh, a baby to dad. Oh, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Hello, you two oh. beautiful girls. You understood me. These two oh. made the most of Isabel being at school. Turn around, Isla Savannah. Oh, dear. You decided to put on some makeup. <gasps> oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> you little beauties. Oh my gosh, she is so cute. 
while the big one and the little one are being absolutely riotous upstairs right now. <laughs> Esme's playing with her best friend. <laughs> So guys, after an amazing day at high school, I just want to say that it was absolutely incredible. I loved it so, so much. I made so many new friends while I was there and I spent such a lovely time. Like I love classes now, but at first I thought classes, oh, classes are going to be awful. But classes are absolutely amazing and super duper fun. And guys, you know all those things I was worrying about last night? I have not a clue why I was worrying about them because high school is amazing and super duper fun. So, we're going to go chill out with some mild pony. Yum! Hi everybody, sorry if my face is a bit wet. We're just chilling out. One's over there. <laughs> hey, where have you gone? Not around. Mom is there. So I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for your awesome support, all the thumbs up that you give us, all of our early squad, all of our late squad, and just literally everybody that's been watching lately. Thank you. And a big welcome also to all of our new subscribers because we've gained quite a lot over these... Why is my face so pale and then that? Look my you neck. do look pale actually. Anyway, yeah, thank you all and welcome to all our new subscribers. We've been gaining so many more iFan members recently and it's so exciting to have you all enjoy our videos. The other thing I wanted to say is I hope all of our American Caribbean friends are safe. I know that there's a hurricane like today, tomorrow, Friday, even some parts of the country over the weekend and it's meant to be a category five which is really quite scary. So just to let all the, of you guys know that we are thinking of you and we hope you're all safe. Didn't know if to bring this up or not but I do want to apologise just in case. There was a few comments on tonight's vlog saying that not in the words of you have offended me but just a few comments that said things like i shop at max and spencer's and i'm not posh or just comments like that basically and in yesterday's vlog i made a comment something along the lines of we're going to max and spencer's because i love their vegetable stir fries we don't usually shop there though because we're not posh and i didn't mean that in a Offensive an offensive way yeah I didn't mean it in an offensive way at all it was just a joke and one that's probably come from my childhood that's okay probably one that's just come from my childhood because when I was younger you didn't I mean I'm 32 now but when I was like I don't know Isabel's age or just a bit younger you didn't people didn't tend to shop at Marks and Spencer's because it was expensive mm. and so I don't know I don't mean that like and anyway since we're, the posh thing's not a negative thing is it been posh is that negative no i don't think so why am i so pale? anyway like, this is not like, i'm looking at myself and i'm like i'll tell you what just close your eyes a minute don't look at yourself I'm, this is important anyway i just want to say if i did offend anyone the comments are not saying you offended me but if i did offend anyone i apologize i didn't mean to offend you at all mm -hmm. and i'm really really sorry but i just wish that we could shop at max expenses all the time i hope you've all had a wicked day i hope you've all loved your first day at high school Come and drop us a comment below and let us know how it went. Until tomorrow night at 6pm, good night guys.